Okay, before I introducing my uh, research project, uh, I'd like to share how did, uh, where did I get this idea. Uh, several years ago, I read a book entitled The Disappearance of Childhood, written by Postman. Um, in this book, Postman claimed that childhood is a social artifact. It was closely linked to the printing press and the growth of literacy, uh, which made possible the segregation of the groups into children and adults. Television, however, tends to eliminate the divide between childhood and the adulthood. So I began to wonder if the uh, literacy can be a barrier for the children to understand the world. How about the technology for the aging population? Because the common belief is uh, the, age, the, the technology is a barrier for the aging population to engage in our uh, modern society. Uh, and also, I noticed that the mobile device and the apps began to uh, has become increasingly popular among the age population, uh, including my parents. So later, with the help with Michael and Katie, my, uh, my, my, my small question developed into the research project. Uh, my presentation contains five parts. Uh, the first one is a research question, second one is theory and concepts, then is a cultural context, after that is a, uh, methods, the last one is the findings and the discussions. Uh, okay, now let's move on to the background first. While the aging uh, society is a global phenomenon, it is more dramatic in China. This is mostly due to the one-child policy, which was initiated in 1978. Hence, China is experiencing aging before becoming rich, which means uh, China ha uh, before China has ability to provide enough infrastructure and money to support the pension system, China must face a severe pressure of the aging process. Unbalanced population uh, structure delayed the process of China's modernization and urbanization. Scholars Powell and uh, Cook described the stress of the aging population uh, in China as a tiger behind and coming up soon. Uh, aging studies in China have largely regarded the aging population as a homogeneous group such as people in physical decline and with some disease. A different way of understanding aging is required. So uh, in the Western academia, the positive approach to study the aging population uh, emerged and then introduced into China. Concepts such as uh, successful aging, third age, positive aging studies, and the diamond lifespan concept provide a new perspective way to understand the aging group. Meanwhile, we live in one connected information society. Internet and internet-based technologies afford people to be always online, uh, like what we are doing now. Uh, scholar Claudia also argued that the world is deeper mediated society, uh, society. China is experiencing the process of internet revolution and the digitalization. Uh, according to scholar Aidan Chao and Michael King, um, China has been the beneficiary of catch-up technology. That is, many technologies developed globally have been introduced into China at a cheaper cost. So uh, because the cheaper price of the, uh, of the technologies, such as mobile phone, there is a high uh, penetration rate of the smartphones, uh, smart mobile phones in China. By, 20, uh, by 2019, over 99% of the total internet users are mobile internet users in China. Uh, so retired people in China even developed the mobile use only phenomenon, which means they use mobile phone only to do most of their uh, daily activities. Uh, after organizing the, 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 the references about the background, I found the gap, found the gap for my research study, uh, for my research. Larger studies focused on younger generations instead of aging population. Aging population have been regarded uh, as a disconnected group, uh, such as Prinsky uh, named the aging population as a digital immigrants. Internet-based technologies can assist the aging population in regard, in regard to their memory, social engagement, dementia, and other psychological aspects. But most, uh, but some of the study um, use the term, you know, uh, to describe the aging user as patients or weak groups. 
um, most studies have been conducted in developed countries or developed areas in China. However, second-tier cities are the real locus for Chinese aging population, according to the report of aging mobile internet users in 2018. So how the third ages in China is mobile phone and apps and the way the effects of using mobile phone is still under-researched. So that's why I proposed as a research question. How do third ages use mobile phone and apps to live a more creative and active retired life? In order to answer the main research question, two sub-research questions were proposed, uh, and I highlight them in this slide. Okay, uh, I also applied three sets of the th uh, theoretical approaches in my study. They are the third age and the individualization, digital capital, and the uses of media, optimal aging, and the successful aging. In the middle part of the slide is the field their inquiry, and on the right side is the corresponding chapters. Okay, let's move on to the part of the theories and the concepts. This part is a bit dry and boring. A uh, third age was proposed by Les Lett. It, re uh, it refers to people around retirement age, and they are still healthy enough to realize their personal achievement. Uh, in 2002, scholars Weiss and Abbas also uh, exclaimed the, uh, a similar, similar meaning of the concept. Uh, at, the same year, at the same year, scholar L. Rich Beck uses the term individualization. It means the extent of people shouldering their responsibilities. In 2010, a book entitled I, China set out how the uh, new self-determining individual operates in China. Findings in this collection indicate aging population have began to act individualization, whether by force or voluntarily. Uh, the next set of concepts are digital capital and the uses of media. Digital capital was proposed by Park in 2017. Uh, Park defines digital capital as an individual's digital ecosystem. It includes elements of economic, cultural, uh, social capital. Nowadays, with the popularity of the internet-based technologies and also the deeper media-aided society, digital capital is quite critical to individual life quality. Another concept is the uses of media. Uh, Rubin uh, categorizes the, the uses of media into ritualized use and instrumental use. Uh, ritualized use meaning uh, re uh, refers to using a media more habitually, and the instrumental use refers to use a media with a strong purpose to seek for certain messages. And, and the use of media were explored further by Papa Crazy uh, later. The last pair, the, uh, so, sorry, the last set of approaches is about successful aging and the optimal aging. Uh, according to, according to uh, the, uh, as showed in this slide, successful aging has three, three components. I highlight, I highlight in the yellow part, the physical well-being, mental well-being, and the social engagement. And the chapter, and on the right side is the corresponding chapters of the three components. Um, how, however, the successful aging also received some critiques uh, from other scholars because successful aging excludes the unsuccessful part, which means people with uh, disabled or with disease. Uh, here, optimal aging to some extent rectifies the ageism part of a successful aging. And this is a, a references I organized uh, based on the successful aging how it was proposed by scholars in 1990s, and then other similar uh, concepts were proposed, and then later how it was uh, how it received the crit uh, critiques from the other scho scholars. Uh, as my study is about the Chinese third ages and their mobile uses, so if we want to understand it better, we need to put the research question into Chinese culture context. Uh, culturally speaking, Chinese society, uh, society is still based on the Confucian value. The aging population was regarded as a symbol of wisdom in China in ancient times. Respecting, caring, and loving aging population has been regarded as a kind of core belief for most people. This is what called filial piety. 
Moreover, collectivism is also rooted deeply in Chinese culture. Collectivism has been、uh, defined as social pattern consisting of closely linked individuals to 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 groups such as family, co-worker, tribe, nation,、uh, and they are motivated by the norms or duties, and they are willing to give priority to the goals of the groups rather than their personal、uh, goals. So, for the third ages after retirement. Some of them still want to sacrifice their time and energy to look after the grandchildren and the whole family、uh, voluntarily.、Uh, the third ages in second tier cities in China are still influenced by the political and ideological、uh, collectivism, even though they are experiencing the process of individualization. Meanwhile, the role of the government has withdrawn gradually from people's lives,、uh, such as the disappearance of the. Uh, IRS bill, which means the permanent job for the Chinese people. The emergence of the third age and the development of the digital technology in China is accelerating the individualization process.、Uh, in terms of the feedback, I、uh, used the same structured interview, online survey, and the document analysis in this study. I interviewed around forty people, twenty of them from the urban areas, twenty from the rural village. Uh, after analyzing the data, I found too many data in this study, so I only contained the、uh, participants interview,、uh, the urban participants interview in this study. Maybe in the future, I will do a comparison study、uh, about the urban and the rural areas. And also, I did the online surveys. I collect around three hundred、um, surveys. After initial screening, two hundred and sixty were included in, in in my study, because my study also related to some document. The reports, so the、uh, document analysis、uh, is used too. Okay, let's move on to the findings part. My findings are mainly based on the framework of the successful aging. As I discussed earlier,、uh, social engagement is one component for successful aging.、Uh, after the、uh, after the interview, after analyzing the interview data, I found my. Use social media for long time daily.、Uh, scholars、uh, Knight et al. in 2018 uh, argued that mobile apps are important in 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 current society because apps can reflect our cultural values and shape our everyday practice. My prelim、uh, my preliminary finding relating to social engagement show that third ages mobile use. Is mainly based on the instrument use and、uh, ritualized use. Instrumental use increases social engagement and、uh, activities online and offline. However, the ritualized use has deeper influence for their emotions. Beyond the instrumental use and the ritualized use,、um, some interviewees expressed the emotional attachment、uh, with the mobile phone.、Um, so, uh, for example, uh, some some、uh, some of my participants. They argue that the mobile phone,、uh, they regard the mobile phone as their digital companion, or they feel anxious if if they don't take the mobile phone,、uh, and the mobile phone play part of their brain or or or, or body. So mobile phone is beyond the role of a symbol tool for the third ages, but more like a, a human like machine for them. So and also、um, another scholar,、uh, Turco, in two thousand and seventeen argued. Uh, made a claim that nowadays people need、uh, need more from technologies rather than from human beings ourselves. So I think this part need to be explored further. Okay, next part. This this part, the findings on this is about the physical health.、Uh, physical health is also another basic component for successful aging. Before introducing the、uh, the. Before introducing this these findings, I like to show, I like to explain a bit of yangsheng. Yangsheng is a cultural concept for Chinese and embedded in their、uh, daily lives.、Uh, yangsheng can be translated as life nutrition under a Western context. Here, this is、uh, I will share another one about the about the video. Can you 
Can you see the video? Can you see the video? Hello. Nobody answering. Yes, right? We can see that. Yes. Say it. Yeah. This is a, this is a daily life. This is a daily life for most of the Chinese uh, aging population. They go to park in the quite early morning to do the exercise, and they think this is a yangsheng lifestyle, which means this is a kind of life nutrition. Uh, and for the foreigners, maybe this is a quite abnormal and unusual. That's why when they see this phenomenon, they take some photos to record. Okay, I like to show. I'd like to show one of the, here, the interview. Can't hear him. Oh, cannot hear. Oh, uh, that person is talking about they are my age, but I cannot do this as, uh, uh, you know, just like the Chinese aging population because that is a kind of lifestyle for them. Okay, let's back to the slides. Fitness apps are popular in China and provide various functions, including recording exercise, monitoring heart rate and sleeping quality, which enable users to keep a digital Yangsheng lifestyle. But uh, by, using, by using fitness uh, apps, participants optimize their life quality. In recent years, uh, fitness apps and wearable devices have become popular tools for active lifestyle promotion. This is a conclusion of scholar Sai Chun. Uh, considering that China is experiencing a dramatic aging process while well, moving into the digital era, it is uh, worthwhile to study the potential of the uh, fitness apps. Mm, one of my participants uh, always said the, uh, the target of the calories uh, to consume the calories every day. Mm, for her, if the weather is quite extreme, quite bad, so she will do the exercise to consume the same calories in the house because she wants to compete with uh, her online friends. Uh, so she will jump or do some jogging, uh, jogging in the yard. With the affordance of mobile fitness apps, Third agers in China are living a digital Yangsheng lifestyle to maintain their independence. And this also accelerates the process of individualization in China. And this part is about the mental well-being. Uh, while the digital health is increasing, entertainment options are changing too. Uh, the findings in this slide is relating to the mental health and explores on how Chinese third agers are building a new image of themselves. Uh, through the mobile entertainment apps, particularly in short video apps. By analyzing the short video content uploaded by two celebrities here, the first one is the naughty granny Chen, and the second one is uh, uh, grandpa wait, grandpa wait, yes. The first one is an individual account, but the second one is a commercial account. It is observed that a new and more creative image of the aging population is being constructed by third agers in China. Short video apps provide third agers uh, new platforms to show their lifestyle, interests, and understanding of the society, love, and uh, relationship. These new images of their uh, life were hidden or, or invisible for a long time under the stereotype image. Images will break the stereotype image. Uh, meanwhile, it will encourage the aging population to achieve uh, various new lifestyle and uh, uh, decrease the discrimination part of the uh, social, uh, so social model of ageism. Uh, combined with the interview data, it is found that um, the new image can help the aging population to improve their mental well-being because most of the faces uh, on, the cover, uh, uh, on the cover of the uh, short videos they uploaded 
they are smiling faces and they are using a humorous way or hilarious way to uh, explain what they want to show in the video. Uh, in light of the Fiddler Stone's work, The Images of the Aging, that book, uh, she, uh, he did the study. Uh, he did the research based on a magazine. The name is a Choice. Uh, and then uh, he argued that a new image of the aging was driven by consumption culture. Here, I want to argue that there is a new image of the aging driven by, by, by the mobile use, uh, by the technology use. Uh, okay. Uh, this slide is about third agers can optimize their aging process by accumulated digital capital. Digital capital is an individual's digital ecosystem uh, and proposed by Park. Individual's uh, capacity to use mobile technologies is critical for their life quality in the digital era. Uh, so the technology development and accumulated digital capital are accelerating the process of individualization individualization. For example, one of my participants, she was a blue collar, a blue collar worker before the lead of wave. Lead of wave means uh, they must uh, retire compulsorily earlier than their uh, re real retirement age in China in 1990s. According to her saying, the feeling of lead of is like abandoned by the society. Then she studied her family business as the owner of the family-run business, she is afraid of being abandoned by the society again. So she began to learn how to use uh, a Photoshop software to do business and how to install the camera in the shop and how to connect the consumers online, how to use QR code to receive money and how to uh, do the other online activities through various apps. Overall, her accumulated digital capital optimize her life quality after after her retired uh, after she retired so okay now let's move on to the conclusion part when i began to uh, when i began my study in 2016 16 china was experiencing a high gdp growth as a world's second uh, largest economy but uh, by the time i communicated the so covid 19 was changing the communication environment making digital technology even more relevant to uh, people's lives. So now we are linking by WebEx here. In the context of this uncertainty, I draw the conclusion. Uh, things may change greatly, but the reality is that the digital lifestyle will become to the norm, not just as lectures for the young people. Overall, the study argues that, um, argues that technology affords and accumulated digital capital is enabling third agers to live a more creative life. Uh, and then they can take more responsibility for themselves. Uh, all of this is accelerating the process of individualization in China. Uh, that is a triangular shift about, uh, about, about how I connect the concepts I, I, I introduced just now. And OK, this slide is about the innovation and the limitation. Uh, first, they, uh, my study identified the emergence of the uh, third age uh, echoes in China, which is disrupting the stereotype of uh, aging population. Uh, because according to Leslet, there was no third age in China in 1980s, but several decades passed, everything changed. Uh, and the third agers can take more responsibilities and make decisions for themselves. This promotes the process of individualization. Secondly, my study utilized and developed the concept of a digital capital into Chinese context. Under the context of digitalization in China, individuals' digital capital has become critical to individuals' well-being and life quality. And third, uh, this research project extends successful aging to optimal aging, not only focusing on the role of the uh, mobile use for physical health, mental well-being, and social engagement, but also emphasize about the external environmental uh, environment, uh, the, especially the digitalization. To some extent, optimal aging rectifies the ageism part of succe uh, successful aging, which gives a richer and less biased will for the third agers in China.
Uh, the limitations for the study is the first one is small samples of interviewees because I only contained 20 interviewees in my, in my study. And also my study focus on, uh, focus on the people who use mobile phones, but yes, there are still some people who don't use it. This will lead to the ignorance for the group who don't use the mobile devices. Uh, and the third one is um, I only focused on three kinds of the mobile apps only, but uh, according to the interview, actually the third age is just beyond our imagine, imagination. They use various apps. Although I finished my drop thesis, this is, I still have a strong feeling about this. Uh, and this is a uh, publication during my PhD. The first two are book chapters and the last one is a conference proceeding.